When it comes to floor and bathroom finishes, tiles are still a firm favourite. The right product and correct knowledge will add to the longevity of your floors and walls. The most important aspect, of course, is preparation. When preparing to tile, the key thing to do is to assess the kind of substrate that you're working with. So what is the current surface you have? How many expansion joints are you going to be needing? And to make sure that that surface is as clean as possible. Remember to ensure a clean, dust-free and smooth, even surface before you start tiling, as this will ensure that your tiles last. When you're tiling a newly prepared surface, you have to be cognizant of the curing times that have to take place. If you're doing a screed or a concrete floor, you have to wait a minimum of 28 days before you can work with the surface. And we also have to make sure that, especially for walls and floors, that your surfaces are wood floated. When you've got a treated surface that you're planning to tile, the key thing to do is to make sure you acid wash the substrate. And once it's acid washed, use clean cold water and that will help prepare your surface for applying the adhesion afterwards. The reason for a slurry plier to tiling is that it helps prepare your surface for adhesion. It protects your surfaces and makes them water resistant. We would recommend that you put together plus key and key it mix as a primer before you then apply your adhesives. If you've got an area that is susceptible to moisture, we're talking about your showers and your balconies and places outside where there might be some drainage and leaks, it is best that you use one of our waterproofing products. A key one for us in your showers would be the waterproof fit shower kit and for your balconies we've got a system that you can work with depending on the amount of moisture you expect. The treatment of wall and floor areas isn't necessarily different, only if your substrates are different for instance, but one of the key things with your walls is that you want your tiles to be supported whilst you're tiling the area. Now that you know more about the preparation that goes into tiling, be sure to keep your eyes open for more informative tips on how to tile and grout with Weber.